You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have uh, someone who's been a familiar face around the Brockton, Greater Brockton community, John Nesty. Nice to see you, John. Nice to be seen. Uh, nice to be here. John has his uh, nice fleece mass hire jacket on. Um, if you remember, uh, back in the day, it was Workforce Investment Board. Now it's the Greater Brockton Workforce Board. Okay. Right. But mass hire is what they're using all around the whole state. To give it the local identity, you're going to call it Greater Brockton. And what better place to be than on Greater Brockton, my show? Absolutely. Okay. So, John, you have something really exciting. It's a banking and finance training program that's offered through Mass Hire and the Greater Brockton Youth Works. Okay. And you actually pay youth for the training and the work, correct? Yes, yeah, so there's a number of training programs that, uh, that occur over at the Career Center right around the corner, as you know. And, uh, and first of all, I want to say, too, um, uh, what, what a great uh, organization BCA is. And we're, uh, we always see you and Jay out in the community uh, covering the chamber events, the school committee meetings. Um, you're always so welcoming to have us in to speak about uh, our different programs. So I just wanted to give BCA a shout out and kudos because it's a tremendous asset in the community. And you guys are doing great work. So I, I appreciate that, and that's what we're here for. I know we're it. here to help promote every nonprofit group, schools, churches, you name it. Yeah. The only thing we don't do is we don't do commercial promotion. We're kind of sure. like Channel 2 at a different level. Absolutely. Okay, Channel 2... Uh, to get sponsorships and stuff like that. Yeah. We're not doing that yet. We're probably going to do that because cable money these days with FCC, we're kind of a little under siege. Just signed right. a new 10-year cable contract. We're in good shape in Brockton, but it's the feds and the state that you got to watch out for. Okay. okay. So we'll, you know, we'll, we had great support uh, from Sheila came and testified at our sure. ascertainment hearing. And uh, I know Jay was on board over there before. We go way back. Yeah. And, and I've dealt with you and like how many different organizations already? A, so a the few. fact that they hired you, that's a good thing too, <laughs> because I think you guys do great work. Well, I appreciate that. And um, yeah, as far as this particular uh, training program, um, we call it Bank on Your Future. So uh, this is a training program for Brockton youth ages 17 to 21. And it's really meant to offer the opportunity for these young people to take that first step towards a career in banking and finance. Mm -hmm. So that's why we say bank on your future. Um, and not only uh, does the training provide uh, the, the occupational component, so we're working with the American Bankers Association, mm -hmm. ABA for short, uh, which has tremendous online modules that the students are using to bring them up to speed in current practices and different competencies that will allow them to be a good entry-level candidate. Uh, and the reason that this program is being offered is, uh, you know, at the Workforce Board, we take a look at trends and uh, information, labor market information that's provided by the Commonwealth um, about different industries and different industries of priority. Mm -hmm. And they're different in every region. In our region in Greater Brockton, of course, there's healthcare, right. there's a advanced manufacturing, and uh, there's also these professional and technical services to which uh, banking and finance fall under. So along with that information from the state and uh, real, real time info and feedback from our board, uh, we have uh, taken that step to addressing the shortage uh, in the workforce for these entry-level candidates. Um, and when you think about the first uh, entry-level job in banking, you think about the teller. Right. And a lot of the CEOs and the different um, uh, banking uh, professionals that we spoke with, we held a CEO roundtable. We got a lot of great feedback. And of course, many of these individuals got their start as a teller and sure. have since ascended. But when you think about the uh, traditional role of the teller, that is being uh, slowly phased out of today's banking environment. These exactly. Things, right? The cell phone. Um, Online, the, internet, banking cafes and all of that stuff. Absolutely. But we have some really strong local banks. What banks are involved in, in this initiative? Sure. So initially, <clears throat> with the help of uh, Eastern Bank and Harbor One, 
South Shore Bank. Uh, we were able to uh, bring together the president and CEOs of, of about a dozen area banks and credit mm -hmm. unions, and they gave us their perspective. And from that initial meeting, we were able to make connections with the HR people from each of these organizations and uh, their training coordinators. And we convened as an advisory board, and they let us know. They're the ones that are doing the interviewing and seeing the candidates come in and out. And they said, this is what we think an ideal candidate should learn prior to coming in for an interview. And um, this is what we're currently seeing, and we would love to see this, so that we take that information. Um, and with a grant offered through uh, the Commonwealth Corporation mm -hmm. uh, and our Youth Works Division, we were able to secure funding to provide occupational training for these 20 uh, youth and, uh, and I will say there are a couple of spaces open, so we are still enrolling eligible youth uh, to receive this training. And as you mentioned, they will be paid uh, during the course of a 50-hour occupational training in like a classroom setting, sure. self-paced, yeah. you know, online modules. And then we're also uh, furnishing internship opportunities. Uh, and you mentioned, uh, and I mentioned just a couple of the partners, but I wanted to make mention of really all the employers that have had a hand in this. Um, certainly Harbor One, uh, first and foremost, they uh, actually gave us a letter of support and uh, for this grant, which was tremendously helpful, and they've agreed to sort of um, uh, help us along the way. We're not the professionals. Right. We, we convene and we bring the stakeholders together, but really input from the workforce is critical because they are the organizations that are doing the hiring. Mm -hmm. um, I want to give the number out. I know you want to get sure. to all the banks, but I got the three-minute sign. Oh, we sure. probably have about two minutes left. So the way to get in touch to get to you guys to, sure. to participate. Sure. Well, you can always call us at 508-584-9800. Again, yeah. that's 508-584-9800. And again, this is a banking and finance training program for uh, young people from Brockton ages 21, I'm sorry, ages 17, 17. to 21. Right. And um, it's just a fantastic opportunity for these you know, folks to uh, take that first step towards a really a, what could be a, a very rewarding career. And if you don't want to talk, it's D. Vincent at MassHireGBWB.org. So you have that too. Sometimes people don't like to talk. They just want to send an email. So they sure. can do that too. That's fine. But you're better off making the phone call because it's getting close to the deadline. It's getting close. Real quick, run through the banks. I think I got about a minute left. Sure. Yeah. And again, you know, employers are a critical component to uh, workforce development and tremendous partners. So Harbor One, uh, Mutual Bank here in Brockton, South Shore Bank, Abington Bank, Envision Bank, the Bank of Canton, Bridgewater Savings, Bridgewater Credit Union, the Bank of Easton. Citizens Bank, and uh, we're having conversations on a daily basis with uh, other you know, employers in the area, not just for this potential program, yeah. but a lot of the other uh, trainings and programs, the youth programs that are being offered through, uh, through the Career Center. Well, I, the Career Center does so much, 34 School Street, correct? Correct. Right across from City Hall. Right across from City okay, Hall. Right in the heart of downtown Brockton, and you guys have taken over, you own the building now, so it's as solid as a rock. That's always been a gorgeous building, in my Absolutely. opinion. The old vaults like we have over here. But I Very love fitting, too, with the bank exactly. uh, banking program. And I love the name, Bank on Your Future, because it's banking is important. I got the basics back a long, long time ago. We had, a, we had a, one of the banks in the high school. They were still using an, an abacus then? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So thanks for being on. Thank you Good for to having see me. You. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.